It's really fun photographing birds in the morning. I made a mistake. They were here. This is incredible. It is late spring. The days are almost the longest of the year. The sun shines in the sky for 15 hours. Like every morning, I am in my backyard when it's dark, making the most of the time I have before the routine and bustle of the day begins. Good morning. It is half past five in the morning. I'm in my back in my photo blind in my backyard. In the last few weeks I've been a little busy. I made uh, some changes in my in my my backyard. I created a vegetables garden with onions, salad, tomatoes and stuff like that. It's really fun photographing birds in the morning. There are magpies, jays, dove, great teats and blackbird. I swear I made a video completely dedicated of this kind of photography but please let me know in the comments what do you think about it and uh, what you would like to see because I um, I see that you like the video but I, I like to reach an extra level by having more interaction with you and grow a little bit together so leave in the comments your thoughts or questions now I I'm waiting some some I'm waiting some birds
Probably this female blackbird had some little problem with the with that leg. Changes I made in the garden, I installed a really interesting thing. You can see it there, hanging on a tree. But before talking about it, let me get the coffee. This is my first coffee of the day. So let me a few minutes of talking about my new feeding spot. It is a bird feeder with a built-in camera that can transmit what it sees in real time. Placing it is very easy. Uh, at most you will need a ladder. I tried a few places before I found the perfect position. I recommend not putting it too low if you are a cat uh, running around in your garden. You can act 
activate the alarm so that you will get a message directly in your smartphone when someone appears in front of the feeder. really fun and very useful to figure out who lives in your gut and what happens there 24 hours because at night it will activate the night mode that allows you to continue monitoring. As you can see in the background I also created a kind of small pond. Uh, this attracts a lot of birds and thanks to this feeder I can see what's going on. The first few days it was covered by doves but with a little patience, you will see the other more shy species arrive. I tried to attract the opus, but I had a little trouble and had an apple with a moth shower. Except for my mistakes, I am very satisfied with this feeder. I admit that sometimes I spend a lot of time watching what is going on in my backyard when I am away. So, if you are interested, I put the link in the description. So, thank you, Netflix, for this collaboration. And now, stop talking and take some photos. In the last video, I showed you the dance I found and how I was able to figure out who lives there. Ooh, ooh, this is nice, Mr. Badger. And there is another one. A nice couple of badgers. Observing them is not easy. They are very shy animals and mostly active at night. To increase my chance of seeing them, I built two sheds using materials found in the woods, so I can leave them there all the time. Knowing the prevailing winds in this area and where the sunlight came from, I choose the best location to build them. In this way, all I have to do is position myself in the best shed, based on the wind direction and sun position and weight.
My building made a lot of noise and brought some confusion to the forest. So I leave the place quiet for a couple of days, monitoring the dance with the photo traps. When I returned after two days, I saw from the videos that there was no track of the Belgians. There was a lot of activity in the area, but nothing about the Belgian couple. Even during the hours of stakeout, I had no surprises and no sightings. A little sad and frustrated, I decided to not waste precious time and dedicate myself to other activities and projects, but always monitoring the area with the photo traps. The violent storms and heavy rains that hit central Italy created a lot of damage, causing flooding and inundation. So I have to leave to help the cities devastated by the bad weather, leaving aside for a while my projects and activities. After about 20 days since the last time I was here at the dance, I checked the photo trap, curious but sure not to find any kind of surprise. But scrolling through the recorded clips, I realized that I was wrong. I made a mistake. They were here. Mr. and Mrs. Badger gave the bird their cups. This is incredible. They stay all the time inside the den, watching the, the, their cups, their little ones. This is wonderful, this is amazing. I made a really big mistake. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at these two little guys. I am a little sad that I didn't see with my eyes and my camera this very emotional scene. Unfortunately, the last viewing was about 20 days ago, so I'm pretty sure they're gone. Being able to observe this piece of forest become a playground for new boys makes me happy. These little guys have completely filled the photo traps memory card with funny scenes, fight training and strange noises. I'm satisfied with these wonderful images. It means that the precaution I took served to not interfere with this extremely delicate moment of nature. This is the last clip I recorded of the beautiful family. Good luck little ones and have a great life. Thank you spring and thank you nature.